welcome to my drag queen wall. Um, <laughs> Grandma and I, we went to Hobby Lobby to get uh, stuff for a costume that my grandma was making. And my grandma is fully making a costume rather than I would give her something to like alternate. Alternate? Alter? I ordered fake flowers off of Amazon. I also got fake flowers, but small ones. I have two of these, but they are beads for the top. We have this shade. We have this shade this shade i have more flowers coming off of amazon uh wire to make the fairy wings this is a fairy costume and then i have tights for my grandma to make the fairy wings i got a wig okay oh my god she's a drag queen i have a package they're just white heels and these tie up my leg. I ended up taking a lot of time lapses throughout this video. Here I am cutting off all the stems to all the flowers and then I am taking apart flowers, gluing them back together and then gluing them to the shoes while my grandma is sewing the skirt. Here I am gluing gems to flowers and then gluing the flowers to the top and I think my grandma and I did this for about two hours. I've decided to push this video back a week um, because it's going to take me two weeks to make this video. My grandma is still working on cost, not the costume itself, but costume pieces, the wings, the flower crown, and the arm uh, cuffs. I already knew I was going to do Phenomenon and then I was like, I really want to do this disco number from season 13. I ordered a sequin dress, a different one because I already have one, but I, I just really wanted to do this number and I ordered heels to go along with that. So I have this an entirely new costume. I'm going to start filming my confessionals and I have kind of a script. Hi, my name is Craig Craig J and I've become so obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race, I decided to edit myself into the series. Cheers. I don't know why I decided to wear the same shirt every time I went to my grandma's, but these are filmed on different days. Here I am making the flower crown, so I'm wrapping wire in ribbon. And then once again, I am gluing gems to flowers for the flower crown and the arm cuffs. What I've started doing for my videos is making promotional TikToks to post before the video comes out to get you guys excited and to tell you what the video is going to be. And here I am getting ready to film those promotional TikToks and take Instagram photos because I had three different looks for this video that I wanted to take Instagram photos. This also gave me a chance to practice the makeup looks that I was planning on doing and I needed to practice gluing down the wig because I decided to use lace wigs for this video. One of the things that I'm going to do for this video that is like not necessary, but I want to do it is and this is just from watching drag race 24 7 um some of them when they walk down the runway they like are glowing simone from season 13 like she always was glowing she looked so good i got this body oil though i'm not filming runway until like wednesday i still am gonna use this to make myself look glowy i don't know just a little glow Yes. And so the transformation begins. It took me two hours, almost three, every day uh, from doing the makeup first and then gluing down the wig and then putting on the costume and then putting on the fake nails and I did the fake nails last because I have no idea how to function with nails and I feel like if I had the nails on before everything else I would have been slower. Uh, yeah, it did take me two hours every single day, and I am not kidding. <laughs>
let's get cray cray. <laughs> Ew, I hate that. I hate that. Now I am going to be looking over the footage and if I need to refilm anything, I'm going to do it before I de-drag. <laughs> Let me show you <laughs> the process of taking this off. Oh no. I have to use the remover twice, and then I use coconut oil. <laughs> it probably took me 30 to 40 minutes every single day to get the glue out of my hair. Um, this day specifically was very bad because I had so, so much glue in my hair and i used so much coconut oil that the next morning i had to take another shower because my hair was so greasy and so bad it's still in there look that's foundation this is my skin this is the top see we have the flowers we have these we have gemstone this is the skirt the shoes are they tie up and they have flowers with gems on them and they go on the back of my top. I have arm cuffs and I have a crown. And no one knows what this costume looks like. I'm literally so excited. Like the other looks, that was just the entrance look. <laughs> to quote Jasmine Kennedy. Oh, this young is just the entry look. This is the idea. Um, they're definitely not the same. I don't care. I can't decide what runway to use. Um, I did it four times and the runway that I like, I didn't walk it at an angle. I walked every other way, did every other shot that I needed, but not at the angle because I have a shot of the runway where I have to walk it at an angle. The whole concept of this look is a fairy and the wings work, but they, at times when I'm walking, they look wobbly. So I shot a couple different times of wearing the wings and not wearing the wings. So I just filmed the small clips that I needed from different scenes and snapped game. I am Brittany S. Pierce from Glee. I know you're supposed to do a celebrity because it's celebrity impersonations, but I just decided to do Brittany because it was easy. I had the costume, whatever. Tomorrow is the second. So today is Friday. And instead of vlogging the behind the scenes of me editing, because all I have to do is edit today, is I am going to fully edit and not worry about vlogging the behind the scenes. <laughs> 